Here are the pyrotechnics here inside the Allen Jones Aquatic Center. It's the Women's 200-yard Freestyle Championship. Records have been standed for eight years thanks to Missy Franklin as the contenders come on to the deck. Taylor Ruck, the defending champ, the two-time Olympian from Canada. She'll be in the fast lane in lane four, so I'm a season best 142-7 earlier today. And we'll run through the lane assignments. Here we go, Chloe Stepanek of Texas A&M, second championship final in this event. A freshman from Virginia Beach representing Stanford, that's Kayla Wilson. There's Brooklyn Douthright to Tennessee in her home pool here. Top seed entering the meets in the SEC champ in this event last month. And here is Taylor Ruck, defending champ. Trying to pick up some key points for Stanford. Here's Amy Canny, a freshman from South Africa who just got onto Charlottesville's campus a couple of months ago. Already been very impressive this week. Anna Peplowski of Indiana, another freshman from Germantown Hills, Illinois, just outside of Peoria. Big Ten champ in her freshman year. It's Maxine Parker out of suburban Chicago, junior for UVA. Lifetime best by almost a second earlier this morning. And Paige Hetrick. We have Louisville in lane eight, also a lifetime best from earlier this morning, and made the A final from a non-circle seed at a heat. Hetrick in eight. And here's Brooklyn Douthright. She knows how to get to the deck here in Knoxville. She knows this pool, <laughs> that's for sure. And as a sophomore, she has done a job here. She was 25th last year as a freshman, and now she is seated third right next Stanford's Taylor Ruck, who should be the favorite. She's the only one that returns to the final from last year's top eight. Take your marks. Two Cavaliers in this raid, Canny in five, and Parker entered this week 42nd seed, and Virginia has her now in the championship final. She's the second. Todd DeSorbo and the rest of that coaching staff have done with these amazing athletes from Virginia. One continues to step up time and time again. And that first 100 this morning in the prelims was outstanding for Ruck. She was way ahead at the halfway point. The only one to break 50 in the morning, 49-6. It looks like she's going to be doing the same thing here in the finals. Beautiful stroke. Great body position, that, that line, that balance that she has. Good acceleration into and out of the wall. 48-9 on the way out. Boy, it shows you how fast that Missy Franklin's 200 free was, though. 47-7 was her split. 139, nobody's going to be close to that. Ruck in control. Yeah, she is, oh, but. Right. Closing in on that left shoulder. And I, and I say, yeah, that's a good, but. Keep an eye on Douthright. She hasn't given up on this, and she's not out of it. She outsplit Ruck on that 50. She was a little quicker than Ruck, and now eyes are right there. They're right there together. I think she's about the only one that can catch her, although Candy's making a little bit of an acceleration right there underneath Ruck. It is Ruck in the center of the pool. Douthright trying to close, and Candy, a huge move down the stretch in five. Can the Virginia freshman get there? Canny just outtouched by Ruck. Another great race. 14 one hundredths of a second separated those three swimmers. Ruck, the champion. Douthright got up for runner up. And Canny, 14 hundredths behind Ruck, finishing third. Uh, Canny's going to learn from that. She's a freshman. She should have made her move just a little sooner. 26 3 on the way home. Nobody was faster except for Parker, who was 26 flat. Here's this turn right here, and you can see the acceleration. Great undulation underneath the water. But Dathright's got her in sight. Five one hundredths of a second behind. Here they all come, racing down the stretch. Tiring Ruck, but hangs on at the end by a tenth. Tremendous finish. And Ruck defends her title, 142-36. The winning time for Taylor Ruck. Douthright of Tennessee, national runner-up. 
And Amy Canny, who's been on Virginia's campus for only a couple of months, finishes third. Let's go to the deck. Taylor Ruck, you successfully defend your Tuna Freestyle National Championship. In a race that is that tight, coming down to the last 50, what are you telling yourself in the last 50? And then how good does it feel to look at the wall and the scoreboard and see that you won? Oh man, yeah, that last 50 was getting pretty close, so I just tried to not breathe, put my head down, and do the best I could to race Brooklyn. So yeah, it feels pretty good too. In a tactical race like the Turner Freestyle, there's obviously some race strategy. What was one part of the race that you need to focus on tonight to get your hand on the wall for first? Yeah, I tend to go up pretty fast, so I guess just trying to keep my, my speed towards the third and fourth 50 is something I've been focusing on this season. Well, it worked out for you, Taylor. Congratulations. Go celebrate with your teammates. Thank you so much.